Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I've been so excited for this video for quite a few weeks now. This purchase. Oh, this could be the best thing I've ever bought for myself. First, let's admire this gorgeous sticker. Oh my gosh, that is going somewhere very special. This little postcard. Kyle James Patrick Brand, Rhode Island. Lots of information about returns and exchanges. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't even explain to you how excited I am. Okay, here we go. I'm so glad it came in a box like this. It makes the unboxing even better. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <sighs> Oh my gosh, the packaging is so, oh, the inside of the box is patterned too. Wow, I don't want to throw out this box. Okay, gently. Enough about the box. <laughs> Here is the raincoat. Obviously, you'll see it better when I put it on, but sleeves. This is called the Old Salt Raincoat. I got it when it was still available for pre order, but now it's just available for regular purchase. Here's the top. And the hood has this adorable whale pattern. How cute is that? I got a medium because I thought that would be better in terms of layering. It's got the same snaps as the sleeve. And it is indeed snaps, not buttons. And these striped um, drawstrings. That's what you call them, right? And then... This is on the sleeve, little like rubber patch. The snaps come all the way down, and then it has two pockets with the same snaps. There is a snap back here. I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe to adjust the hood a little bit. Oh, not sure. Probably won't need to mess with it for me, but oh, that just came right off okay crisis averted let me warn you about this this is not a product defect these snaps on the hood are different because they go into the hole and there's a little ridge in the middle where the cloth fits in if that makes sense and that's what's holding it so it's not as stable as these snaps which as you can see they go through the actual sleeve and they don't turn. I think they're actually like glued in or something like that. These ones are not as secure. Maybe there's a reason for that. I'm not 100% sure, but both of them are like that. So I'm just not going to mess with these. I'm just going to leave this snap to the bottom one and not even worry about this part. And that should be totally fine. Okay, so now I think it's time to try it on. Here's the inside. The whales. Here's the old salt tag. Size medium. Got the little hanging tag as well. Okay, I put on a sweater so I could test out how it is with the layering. Because that's what I'm worried about. Oh my gosh. I really, 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 really like it. Okay. Look how pretty this is. It's not restricting. Next step is the zipper. Okay, so restricting. This is what it looks like. It's 
And I think it's big enough. Here's my body. That I could wear a slightly thicker sweater and it would be okay. The hood's very big. But I think honestly, if you need to wear something like this in the rain, you probably need a hood that's covering everything. I think this will be great when I go into work because it's literally covering everything. It'll protect my hair and my made up face. Let's bring it all the way up so we can show off the full rain protection. Okay. There we go. You're good. Like, <laughs> water's not getting anywhere. you can hear me over the rain. I just thought I would end this video out here. It just seems perfect. So, now I have thoughts on this coat actually in the rain. It's really comfy and it's well insulated. Obviously, when it's cold, you need to be wearing appropriate clothing like a sweater or something like that. But, this coat is well insulated, it keeps you warm. My hands are obviously uncovered, and as soon as I stuck them inside the pockets, they immediately got warm. Like even right now, cold, nice and healthy. It feels so nice. You immediately get warmer as soon as you stick them in the pockets. Major plus, this hood, which is big, is nice because I, I love the rain, I love the cold. When I go to work at the mall, I never wear a coat or anything like that. I'm obviously always wearing a sweater, or something warm. I just never have any kind of coat or umbrella. I love the rain so much. But with this, this would protect my hair, my makeup, and my outfit from getting wet and ruined before I go into work. So that part of it is really nice. The oversized hood is definitely going to be a lifesaver. Even though I didn't use it before, I didn't care. This is going to be really nice for 
the short hop from the car into the mall. It's not that long, but walking in, walking out, at least I won't get wet, I'll be warm. And I can just hang this over a chair to dry while I'm working. No problem, no big deal, not a big mess. Obviously, I can't speak about wear and tear. I only just got it. But this is a pretty pricey coat. So I have high hopes that it's going to last me a long time. Also, I don't really do anything hardcore outside. So I think it'll last me a long time. It's not like I work outside and need something for that. One of the biggest reasons I love it is that it's both cute, fashionable, and it's practical. That's like, <laughs> it's like two parts of my personality. It looks so cute on, but it's also practical and warm, and it saves me from getting wet. It is so nice. I cannot recommend this enough. This is the Old Salt Raincoat. I'm wearing a medium. That's my normal size. And it's oversized enough that you can layer it comfortably. So I would recommend you get your size. I got my size and it worked out fine. I don't know why that would be any different for anyone else. If you're unsure, I believe there's a size guide. You can always look at that just to be a little more precise. If you make an online purchase because of my video, I would really appreciate if you write in the notes section, Lauren Michelle from YouTube sent me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I answer every single one of my comments. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Also, click the bell to turn on your notifications. I will see you in my next video.